Hey guys, welcome to the 12th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use lists. So, all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button, and once you have it on your form, just go ahead and double click on it. Alright, so a list is very similar to an array. The only difference is when you're creating a list or when you define a list, you don't have to specify the amount of elements that will be inside of your list. For example, if we were to create an array right here, uh, actually a string array, and just call it my array, I guess, and set it equal to a new string array, then inside of these two brackets, we have to specify the amount of elements that will be inside of your array. So if you always want there to be four or something like that, well, that's fine. But in some instances, you're not going to know the amount of elements that will be inside of your array. So instead of having to do something complicated, what you can do is just create a list. So to create a list, you're just going to want to type the list. And then following that, you're going to want to put a less than and a greater than sign. And then inside of here is where you're going to want to put the type of list that you're going to want to have. And we're just going to create a string list. So I'm just going to type in there, string. All right. And then after this, you're just going to want to type the name of your list. I'm just going to call it names because we're just going to have a bunch of names inside of this list. And then you're just going to want to set it equal to a new list. And make sure that these types are the same. So if you're creating um, a string list, you must set it equal to a list of strings or it's just not going to work. And as you can see right here, we didn't have to specify the amount of elements that would be inside of our list or the amount of strings that would be inside of our list. And this is very useful. So in order to add elements to our list, all we have to do is type the name of our list, which is just names, and then do dot, and then add. And then inside of these two parentheses right here, we're just going to want to type uh, what we want to add. So if we want to add um, a person's name like Adam, I'll just add Adam to this names list. So now inside of our names list, there's currently one element or one string. So if I wanted to access that, all I would have to do is names for um, my list and then just put two brackets. And then inside of here, the index of the string that I want to access. And since currently there's only one element or one string inside of my list, I'll just put zero in there. So a list, just like arrays, start counting at zero. So the beginning element inside of the array, or this list, is zero. So if we put zero in here, we're just going to access this atom element, or this atom string. So let's just go ahead and display this inside of a message box and see what we get. And we should just get atom inside of a message box. All right, so let's just debug here, and yep, we get atom. All right, and if we wanted to add more elements or more strings, we could just go ahead and add more. So we just do names for our list, do dot add, and then inside of these two parentheses, the string that we want to add to our string list. So if we just want to add, I guess, Joe, we could do that. So now in our names list, we have two strings. We have Adam and we have Joe. So if I wanted to access Joe, I would just put a one inside of there. So inside of our list, let me just uh, do a comment right here. And I'll just say, inside of our list, we have Adam and we have Joe. All right, so if I wanted to access this Joe, I'd have to put one, since it starts counting at zero. So it goes zero, then one, and so on. So I'll do one, and I should get Joe inside of a message box. Yep, perfect. And you can create a list of any type you want. For example, if we just wanted to create a list of, uh, I guess, integers, we could just put int inside of there. And then we could call um, our list something. I'm just going to call it numbers inside equal to a new list of integers. So now this works just like before with the names. So if I wanted to add another number or another integer um, to my list of ints, I would just do numbers for my list right there, do dot add. And then inside of here, I just have to put the int or the integer that I want to add to my list. So if I just want to add the number 5, I'll just put 5 in there. And now, inside of my list, I currently have one element, or one number, so I just have five. So if I want to access that, I'll just have to do numbers, and then zero, since there's only one element inside of there. So it just starts counting at zero, so zero. And then I'm just going to have to convert this into a string, so I'm just going to have to do dot to string, so that we can view it in our message box. And I should get five in message box when I debug here. Yep, perfect. If I wanted to add another number, I could just do number or numbers for my list right here, and then do dot add to add another number to our list or another integer. And I'll just add 
667. 667. So now inside of our um, integer list, we have 5 and 667. So it starts counting at 0, and then we get 1, and so on. So if I want to access 667, I'm just going to have to put a 1 inside of here. And now I should just get 667 inside of a message box. Yep, perfect. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial on using lists. So, see you guys.